Welcome to Campsaparts Automotive Limited. Today, we will be talking about engine starter motor and how it works. What is an engine starter motor? An engine starter motor is an electrical device that is used to rotate crank internal combustion engines so as to initiate the engine's operation. Under its own power, as soon as the engine begins to run, it gets disconnected from the engine, which now relies on the combustion process. The component is mounted on the engine's gearbox housing, and the starter motor gear meets the flywheel's teeth. Parts of the starter motor. Below are the starter motor parts and their functions. 1. Armature. An armature is an electromagnet component that is mounted on the drive shaft or bearings for a guide. It is made of a laminated soft iron core which is wrapped with numerous conductor loops or windings. 2. Commutator. A commutator is a section of the shaft at the rear of the housing on which brushes run to conduct electricity. It is made of two plates mounted to the axle of the armature. The plates provide connections for the coil of the electromagnet. 3. Brushes. Brushes are parts that run on a section of the commutator at the rear of the housing. It rubs the commutator and conducts electricity. 4. Solenoid. The solenoid features to coils of wire that are wrapped around the core. This solenoid serves as a switch that connects and closes the electrical connection between the starter motor and the vehicle's battery. 5. Plunger. The function of a plunger in a starter motor is to push forward so the pinion can be engaged. 6. Lever fork. The lever fork is connected to the plunger which makes them push forward together to engage the pinion. 7. Pinion. A pinion is a small mechanism containing gear and springs. It engages immediately after the engine starts by extending the gear to the flywheel teeth. The flywheel is the source of engine rotation. 8. Field coils. The field coils are held in housing with screws as it consists of two or more coils connected in series. These coils receive power from the battery that converts them into an electromagnet that turns the armature. This creates a magnetic field around the armature. Types of starter motor. Mainstream cars usually utilize. Two primary types of starter motors. Permanent magnet PM starter motors and series wound starter motors. 1. Permanent magnet PM starter motors are the most common starter motor type. They use permanent magnets to create the magnetic field that interacts with the armature. PM starter motors are more efficient than series wound starter motors, but are also more expensive. 2. Series wound. Series wound starter motors use a series wound field coil to create the magnetic field. Series wound starter motors are less expensive than PM starter motors and less efficient. In addition to these two mainstream types, there are a few other types of starter motors, including 1. Direct drive starter motors. These starter motors do not have a gear train. Instead, the armature is directly connected to the flywheel. Direct drive starter motors are more efficient than starter motors with a gear train, but are also more expensive. 2. Remote starter motors. These starter motors are located outside the engine bay. They are used in cars with diesel engines, which require more power to start than petrol engines. 3. High torque starter motors. These motors are designed to start engines with high compression ratios. They are often used in diesel engines and large trucks. Common starter motor faults. Starter motors are essential for any vehicle. Initiating the engine's operation. However, like any mechanical component, they can experience faults. Recognizing these common issues and understanding the signs of a faulty starter motor can help. Ensure prompt repairs. 1. Wiring problems. Damaged wiring connections can disrupt the flow of electrical current, impairing the starter motor's functionality. 2. Soenoid issues. A faulty soenoid, responsible for engaging the starter motor, can prevent proper engagement and inhibit engine startup. 3. Armature troubles. Damage to the rotating armature within the starter motor can hinder its ability to initiate engine rotation. 4. Field coil problems. Damaged field coils surrounding the armature can diminish the starter motor's torque output, making it difficult to turn the flywheel. 5. 
Gear train malfunctions. A malfunctioning gear train, responsible for multiplying torque, can impede the starter motor's ability to rotate the flywheel. 6. Slow or no cranking. If your vehicle cranks slowly or fails to crank when starting, it may indicate a problem with the starter motor. 7. Clicking noise. A clicking sound from the starter motor when turning the key in the ignition is often a sign of an issue, such as a faulty solenoid. 8. Overheating. If the starter motor becomes excessively hot during operation, it could indicate an underlying fault. 8. Overheating. If the starter motor becomes excessively hot during operation, it could indicate an underlying fault. How to prevent starter motor problems? In addition to having your starter motor regularly inspected by a mechanic, there are a few things you can do to help prevent problems. 1. Keep your battery in good condition. A weak battery can strain the starter motor and shorten its lifespan. 2. Avoid cranking the engine for long periods. Cranking the engine for too long can overheat the starter motor and damage it. 3. Have your starter motor checked regularly. A mechanic can inspect your starter motor for any signs of wear and tier to recommend repairs if necessary. That will be all for today. To buy an original car spare part anywhere in Nigeria, please visit www.kemseparts.com.